Good morning, Washington TK. We're gonna give you guys a quick video to see what you missed during our morning meeting. Today is Tuesday, October the 13th of the year 2020. We missed a few days of school. We have not been here since Friday and Monday was um, a day off for us. So we have a lot of spaces to fill in on our shapes. Let's say our pattern so we can figure out what shapes we're missing. We have rhombus, ellipse, rhombus, ellipse, rhombus, ellipse. And then on Saturday, we had a rhombus. On Sunday, we had an ellipse. On Monday, we had a rhombus. What do you think we're gonna have today? If you said ellipse, you were right. Remember, ellipse is our geometrical name for oval. So we're gonna be learning the word ellipse. Um, today, we also practice our letter sounds. Every time it's the first day of the week, we practice our letter sounds. We didn't come to school yesterday, so we practice them today. Remember, when you have your letter sounds chart, I'm going to use my pointer, but you would use your pointer finger. Remember, we touch each picture and each letter as it's being said. We go apple, apple, ah, 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 and then again, apple, apple, ah, 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 baby, baby, ba, 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 all the way till we get through our whole poster. And your parents can click on the link to um, listen to the song that goes with the chart. The other thing that we did today was we practiced writing our letter H. Letter H, we'll start with capital H and I'm gonna to demonstrate to you guys how to write it. It's down, down, across, capital H. Let's do that one more time. Down, down, across, capital H. I want you guys to get out your whiteboard and practice writing capital H. Try and fill up your whole whiteboard full of capital H's before you move on to your lowercase h. Now we'll practice lowercase h. Lowercase h is down, stop, go back to the middle and make a hump going down. Lowercase h. One more time. Down and a hump. Lowercase h. And remember, when you're writing these lowercase h's, remember that your line is very long on top because if it's short, it's gonna look like a letter N. See how that looks different than the letter H? It needs to have that long line on top to make it a lowercase h. And let's practice the sound of letter H. H says <sighs> You should be able to put your hand in front of your mouth and when you say make the sound of H, you should feel the air hitting your hand like hot. All right, guys, that was it for our practicing of our letter today. I'm gonna erase my whiteboard before I put it away. That's always a good idea for you guys to do too. Make sure you clean off your whiteboard before you put it away so it's ready next time you need it. Today for your independent work, we are using our week eight packet. Our week eight packet looks like this and it has a fruit book on the cover. So for this, for today on Tuesday, you have 20 minutes of Math Shelf. You have Alexia for 15 minutes. You're gonna do one name practice sheet. You're gonna do your H handwriting sheet, which is this one here to practice um, capital and lowercase H. You're also going to be creating your H book, which is this one here. Remember the top one, you can just cut it across right here, but the bottom pieces, you're gonna cut out one, two, three, four rectangles, and you're gonna staple them or tape or glue them onto this page. So you can read it as a little flip book. H is for hammer, H is for horse, and so on with all the pictures. Um, the last thing that you also need to be doing today is literacy footprints for 15 minutes. And that's what we worked on today, guys. And last time we came to school, it was our 35th day of school. So today is our 36th day of TK. We've been in TK for a long time now, guys. So we'll remember to put that on there. I hope you guys all have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow for our 37th day of TK. Bye everybody.